Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. Hmm, do I have another one of my wonderful analogies for you? <laughs> okay, you see this cup, right? You see the pen. Now we're going to go very symbolic. So let your imagination fly with me, shall we? Come on, let's soar together into the world of imagination. Now, this is your world. This is your a whole conglomeration of your circumstances. This is everything happening around you. Everything that involves your life, that revolves around you. Everything that you're dealing with, everybody you're dealing with, your obstacles, your problems, your challenges, everything, even your blessings, it's all right here. And where are you? Right here. You're in the thick of it. In the thick of it. Now, this is your world and this is all you know. Why? All you can see is what's happening around you. Am I right or wrong? That's all you can see. That's you swirling around in your little world. This hand, the hand of God holding you. And your life. He's the one in control. He drops things in and he takes things out. I know it sounds weird to use this as an analogy, but listen, listen, listen. This is all you can see. But look, come up out of there for a minute, raise your sights, and look around you. And there is a whole world out there. So when you think that everything that pertains to you is limited to that cup, think about all that God is in control of. He said in Psalms 24, the earth is the Lord's, not yours, not mine. Not the bill collectors, not the devils. The earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. That includes your friend and your foe. That includes seen and unseen. God is in control. So when you can't see what the heck is going on out of your world and you're trying to see over it, ask God to lift you up and raise your sights. Lean on God and he will begin to raise you up so that you can see more of what's going on. And you'll begin to understand and you'll be able to see the light at the end of the tunnel because you're not just down there wallowing in your pity, wallowing in your fears. You're leaning on God, on his power to raise you up like Jesus did when God took him through that hellish experience but raised him on the third day and God can resurrect Jesus, Jesus can resurrect you. Remember that.